Hello and welcome to this demo on frequency caps. We're going to show you the settings that you can put in place to ensure that people don't receive too many of your emails, text messages and push notifications within a certain time period. We're also going to show you the effects of these on your customer journeys. Let's take a look. To set up the frequency caps, we're going to first select the settings. Underneath customer engagement, you will then see this area here for the frequency cap. We can then select the option to create a new setting. We'll then name this. I'm going to add into here one email per day. And you can then see that you can add in the maximums on a daily, weekly or monthly basis for emails, text messages or push notifications. I'm going to add into here that I only want them to receive a maximum of one email per day. Once added, we can then select save and close. And that's now active and we will now see the effect of this on a customer journey. In this journey, there's a contact that has already received an email earlier today. Now I'm going to select the option here to publish as normal. Now that the journey has been published, you'll see that if we select the email, we can see the statistics on that email and that one of these contacts has been blocked. If I now select the delivery and interaction details, you can see that the reason this was blocked is because the frequency cap has been reached. And this is the effect of the frequency cap on a customer journey within Dynamics 365. We should point out at this stage that this currently only works with real-time marketing and also that transactional emails will be unaffected by that frequency cap. As this feature is currently a preview feature, it does need to be switched on on the feature switches. To do that, we just need to select settings. We then need to select feature switches. You'll see in here this option where it says frequency capping preview. Switch that on and then select save. And you're then ready to use the frequency capping within Dynamics 365.